Well, the state is now pursuing drug charges against a former Pritchard police officer. Edmund Burke was rearrested last night by U.S. Marshals. Burke was first arrested back in August, but those federal charges were dropped. Local 15's Darwin Singleton is live in the newsroom tonight. Darwin Burke's short law enforcement career had been a rocky one. But Greg, for a number of reasons, the law enforcement career of 34-year-old Edmund Burke has been short. It's been filled with pitfalls, but record shows Burke's troubles began even before he put on that badge. December 12th, 2012. A Pritchard police officer fires a fatal shot at a man who appeared to have a weapon. It's unfortunate tonight it resulted in uh, a suspect being killed. A man police say was attempting to rob this convenience store. That officer, 34-year-old Edmund Burke, was put on leave until an investigation was complete. That investigation concluded the shooting was justified. Burke was cleared of any wrongdoing. It's an experience that no police officer would be eager to endure, and neither is this. Even before Burke became a member of the Pritchard Police Department, he himself had been an object of law enforcement scrutiny. Court records show Burke had been arrested back in 2006 on a drug charge. That charge was later dismissed. Then, last August, the Mobile County Sheriff's Office revealed it had arrested a Pritchard police officer during a drug sting operation. That officer? Pritchard police officer Edmund Burke. The federal government announced it would pursue the charges, and there were three, trafficking in cocaine, possession of marijuana, and possession of a controlled substance. Then another twist. The feds dropped those charges, but this time they were not dismissed. There was talk that the Mobile County DA would pursue those charges in state court. Today, District Attorney Ashley Rich told me that's exactly what she's doing. And that is why the former Pritcher police officer was rearrested by U.S. Marshals last night. And Burke was booked just before 10 o'clock last night. He was out on bond about four hours later. Greg?